I'm Dylan Southerd. Welcome to Southerd Outdoors, and I'm going to show you what's in my bait bag. Everybody has their special bait bag. I bought mine from Lowe's. It's just a tool bag that you can carry around, Stanley. But you can, these make really, really good bait bags. But basically, what I've got here is I've got some fish oil that I use on my raccoon sets. And this little handy dandy pocket, I got two cans of plain sardines in water, is what I mean by plain. Around back, I have coyote urine for my post sets or urine sets. And this right here is my special raccoon lure. I make it myself. So it's very good. If you want the recipe for this, just hit me up. Post a comment, send me a message, whatever, I'll give it to you. It's It works pretty daggone good for me. Torpedo Otter Mink uh, Lure. I don't use this much for coyotes. It says you can, but I have more luck with Otter than I do anything with this right here. I also have my Mink and Muskrat Special Lure. My Hallbacher's Minkler, number two. Show you that. Oh, let me show you this Torpedo, too, by Fox Hollow. And this is by um, Milligan's, this Mink and Muskrat Special. And this is my Bread and Butter Muskrat Lure. I don't use this as much. I usually make, use it for ingredient purposes for my raccoon homemade bait that I make. There's also... Uh, there's three videos on uh, raccoon baits that I make. Well, two videos on uh, raccoon bait that y'all can check out on there. Just made me a batch of a batch of uh, raccoon lure. There's a video on how to make it. It's really, really just a solid kind of paste. Just kind of a paste bait. I use it in my dirt holes. Um, in this jar. I have Caven's Coon and Mink Bait. I'm not too crazy about this because it's very, very runny, kind of like applesauce. It's just, I ain't quite figured out what kind of set to use that on just quite yet. I can tell you one thing, it does not work very good on DPs at all. Duke DPs. It don't work good at all. So, In this container, one of my key ingredients to catching coons, marshmallows. They love marshmallows. Put a few out of them out and stick some in your DP traps. They will eat it up. This is my mink bait. Um, every now and then you will catch raccoon in this, but it's mainly a mink bait. I also have a video on how to make this bait on my, uh, on my YouTube page. You can check it out. Also, I have just mice. I'm about out of just mice. i got to order some more. Um, but this year they had a shortage on, on rats, so they didn't make it this year. But uh, that's my my best uh, canine bait. Also, I have a uh, long distance call by O'Gorman. You can buy this on MinnesotaTrapPlan.com or whatever. It's in the link or in the bio, or whatever you want to call it. But uh, that's just a lure. And also, I have Violator 7. That stuff is some stout stuff. Burn the nostril hairs. Also in my also in my bait bag that I'm gonna have to start carrying since I'm bad out of just mice. Carry Minnesota brand Hawatha Valley. It's a really really good bait. It's my second to favorite against that uh, against the uh, just mice since I'm bad out of it. And that is my bait bag. It's nothing special, but it's just some of my killer baits I've got in there. Something else I also carry. On the inside, there's a little hidden pouch or compartment in here. But what I keep in here is I bought these off Minnesota Trap Line. They're just, they're basically really, really long Q-tips. Really long Q-tips. And what I do with that is I take my special lure and I stick this above my, um, above my dirt hole sets or I may stick it near my <clears throat> near my DP sets and all I do is I just put a drop of this on here and that's some stout stuff. It just is candy smell again. Hit me up and give the recipe.
Simple as that. Is old Stanley bag you can buy from Lowe's, Home Depot, anything you can get your hands on. Thanks for watching. Been another episode from Southern Outdoors.